Hi everyone, my name is Sanand. I am part of the startup Video4, so where we develop uh, mobile apps for travelers. So today I am going to talk about uh, one of the hack that we developed in a hackathon. So this is the most favorite app in my mobile. Like, it's kind of uh, even uh, it took me to this place also. So. Uh, what uh, we're using this app, I found is that like uh, for uh, known landmarks, like map-based directions work pretty well. But if uh, my place, like my house, is like a kilometer away from Mar the Marthali Bridge, which is a known uh, known landmark, but the route from that landmark to the last mile, it's like not so great. I know like pretty good shortcuts that Google does. I mean, Google has, uh, map makers doesn't know, and in some seasons there are certain routes that are visible. So those things like it's not captured anywhere. And if some one of my friend wants to come to my place, he comes to that landmark and then gives a call like, how do I come? So it's like it just always happens. The last uh, connection happens through phone call. So looking for I was looking for a solution where like the like uh, uh, map can be drawn easily like with a pencil kind of tool and web and I could be able to share it to my friend. So this was basically the idea like there should be a tool where like I can draw uh, simply over a, a map canvas and I, could, I should get a shareable link and I should send, be able to send us an SMS to my friend who in turn like can, will be using his mobile to find the map. Uh, and this solution seems to be like uh, the core idea. But we thought like uh, instead of just consuming the like map on a mobile, given that mobile like smartphone has so many the sensors which can be used, we thought like we can also add an extra feature like for consuming this particular generated link. Like many of you must have noted this like in like last IPL coverage, like the st stats were pretty good. Like the graphics that the, the play stats were like uh, pretty good. Like they were pinned to like players instead of like pin getting pinned to the screen. So when the camera actually panned and zoomed, those like like the to see those uh, visualizations was pretty good. So these are basically like augmented reality stuff. Like where the content is generated, computer generated content uh, content is uh, like attached to a physical view of the world. So we thought like, why don't we use that in the hack that we are going to develop. So like uh, with uh, augmented reality, like when we started exploring, we found uh, like pretty cool use cases. One was by BMW where like in the windshield, they added augmented reality and displayed vital stuff like if you're going to crash, like I mean, like, <laughs> I mean something like that. <laughs> okay. And uh, with mobile, like we have like so many of these sensors like cameras, gyroscope, accelerometer, GPS. And like it makes the augmented reality experience much more uh, affordable like in a smartphone. So that's when we uh, explored and found like pretty like good uh, SDKs that we are available for developing these such kind of apps. So like uh, all these like are uh, free to use for com non-commercial apps and uh, Bufora is even free for commercial use. So we went ahead and picked layer for our like hack. So this is how it worked. Like, the like a user would uh, draw the map on a uh, web-based interface, share it over an uh, SMS, and then uh, that like the entire experience comes as an augmented reality where like there are virtual balloons flying around. You just follow it with your camera, like just carry like this and follow. You would be reaching your destination. That was the plan. So it's like maybe I'll show you a short demo of how it works. automatically deduct like where there is a left turn right turn based on the like the positions of these markers and then uh, appropriate bubbles will be placed on the way so that uh, it's like even uh, like 100 200 meters before you are about to take a turn the balloon would be like like prompting appropriately so that's it so then, uh, like draw the link and then say create route it would actually generate a link <laughs> <laughs> it can show you I'll just show a run through a small uh, So, uh, we also have this map drawing interface on mobile as well. So, we can draw the map on mobile and share, and then the friend also can consume in his mobile. So, this is how it works. So, 
So like uh, there are like uh, like uh, markers that are available. You can drag and drop on the map you have, and then uh, you can even uh, like add an annotation. Like this is a landmark based stuff, and then you can say generate link. You can send it over in uh, SMS. That's like a readable link which. If you have a layer map installed, you can use that as an augment reality. Otherwise, you can just use your browser to use it. So it's like no platform locking stuff. And then once it's open in layer, uh, we actually will find like balloons that are visible uh, and you just follow it. Like even here, I have uh, place like four markers on the road that leads to Terry. So I'm able to like, if you can come here, I can show you. <laughs> so these are the bubbles uh, that actually led, led me to this. So it's, the app is available in the Android market. It's free to download. So my Twitter ID is Anand. Yeah. Does it work like if the roads aren't actually drawn on Google, like I know in Bombay, like for our office, those roads aren't actually drawn on Google Maps? Okay. Is that fine? Like, can I? Yeah, yeah. It yeah, just needs a canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, does it take? It, it does it work if you don't have a if if the Google Map doesn't have that street actually map? Yeah, yeah that's right. Right. It's, 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 I'm just uh, as a representative canvas, so it's like it just takes the lat long that is being pushed. Okay, thanks.